The other thing I want people to have besides a safe attitude and a good attitude to accept the training is they need to understand that self-defense is layered. Yes. You can't rely on just one element. Uh, you don't. If your house is on fire, uh, do you want just one fireman to show up? It's only one house. They can bring one truck and one hose. Right. That's not the way right. it works. Yeah. Okay. Bring everybody. Bring everybody. Yes. So the reality is, what I want is I want a layered approach. Uh, if we're talking about our home, we need to have good locks. We need to have uh, secured windows. We need to have. Uh, maybe an alarm system, maybe one of these new systems where it's, it's got video. We also need to have everyone in the house on board with how to operate the system. It's pretty simple. Uh, the vast majority of alarms uh, in the country are false alarms. Mm -hmm. If we can cut down on that, we can free up law enforcement to go to the ones that are good. Right. So right. understand how your system works. So I've got my home. I'm going to secure my home in layers. Good door, good door locks, uh, good window secure. Uh, a fire extinguisher. You know, how many people don't have a fire extinguisher in their own home? That, that's crazy. You know, you're probably more likely to die in a house fire than you're a home invasion. But the yes. reality is, you need to have this approach. You know, if, if you live in a two-story uh, structure, how do you get out of the window? Do you have a ladder that you can drop down and climb down? The other thing is, is you need to have a plan. If somebody's kicking the front door in, everybody needs to agree on the plan. Everybody should have a job. Mm -hmm. Maybe one person should be on the phone. Maybe another person should be down behind the bed. Maybe another person should be on the phone and another person going and getting the kids and bringing them into the safe room. But you need to have a 